today we're back at one of my favorite teacher spots, Barnes & Nobles, to talk all things Halloween. Now, I am one of those people that loves to celebrate holidays in the classroom, but I like to find ways to do it that still align with the standards. So let's head on in to Barnes & Noble, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite Halloween read-alouds and how you can use them to still align with the standards. Let's get going. so cute and in it this little spider he doesn't understand why everybody runs away screaming when they see him but throughout the story they learn that there are actually some great qualities about this spider so this is a great opportunity to get your kids thinking about uh, qualities that other people have that are good and how sometimes people may seem scary but they're actually not that bad Another great one is Dia de los Muertos, and as you know, this is a holiday that is celebrated in Mexico in October, so this is a great way to get your students learning about other cultures. If you have Spanish language students in your class, this might really get them excited because you're talking about something from their culture. And another really fun thing about this book is it has Spanish words in it, so you can kind of teach your kids a little bit of Spanish while you read this book. So the last two Halloween read-alouds that I want to share are ones that you could use as part of your ELA instruction or really any time of the day for something fun and holiday related. I love Mother Ghost because one of my weak areas as a teacher was teaching poetry and this is a book full of fun Halloween poems. So it's a great way to introduce your students to poems and then encourage them to write their own spooky or Halloween themed poems. <coughs> 
Another one that I absolutely love is the Halloween classic, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the movie, and there's so many fun activities that you can do with this book. I've actually created It's the Great Pumpkin themed ELA centers, which you can find in the description for this video. You can also show students the movie and then read the book and do a comparing and contrasting activity, but really there's a lot of great things you can do with It's the Great Pumpkin. I've just shared six of my favorite Halloween read-alouds for upper elementary. Now, if you're looking for even more Halloween read-alouds for your upper elementary student, make sure to go to the description and get my free Halloween read-aloud checklist and worksheets. In this free download, you'll find 12 Halloween read-alouds that you can use and worksheets to go with them. And thank you to Barnes & Noble for letting us film here today. And remember, educators always get 20% off when they buy things for their classroom. I'll see you guys next time.